Welcome back, friends. In this tutorial, I am going to explain how to use this mini application to effectively track the details of courier receipt. Suppose that if you are working in an organization as a front desk officer and you are looking for a Microsoft Excel template to track the details of the couriers or physical mails, you are here in the right place. First, I will explain each and every features of this application, and at the end of video, I will provide you the download link and instructions to set it up for first use. After you open the downloaded Excel file, you will see this app launch sheet. Here, you have the button to launch the Courier Receipt Tracker application. Hover over your mouse here and click. The application window opens. This application has three parts. First is the Record Entry section. Second is the Data Export section. And third one is the Database Display section. In Record Entry, there is a form to input the data. It contains total eight fields. These are date of receipt, courier company name, tracking number, sender name and address, receiver name and address, package contents, handover status, and handover date. Except handover date, all other fields are mandatory. If you missed an input value in a field, you cannot submit or enter your data in the system. If you select yes in the handover status, then handover date also becomes mandatory field. In the data export section, you can export the data that you have entered in a new Excel workbook. If you want to export data for a specific date range, then you have to first select the from and to date, then click on this export selected button. If you want to export whole data, click on this export all button. In this database section, all data that have been entered in this application will be visible. In the bottom part of the application window, there are four buttons to control the entry. This submit button is to enter the details into the system. Cancel button is to cancel the entry. If you have entered few details and if you need to cancel it, click on this button. If you need to modify the previously entered record, then use this update record button. To delete a record from the system, use this delete record button. In the top left part of the screen, there is a button to save your data. Click on this button to save your data entry in the Excel file. Note that Submit button only transfers the record into the system. To save the enter records, you must click on this Save Your Data button. Let's operate this application practically by entering some dummy data of courier receipt. If you are entering the record for the current date or today's date, the date will be given automatically. No need to select date here. But if you are entering details for some other date, click on this calendar icon to pick up a date. Let me click on 5th of November. Here you see, date is entered in the field. Click on courier company name field. Then input the courier company from which goods is received. Press tab key to go to next field, or you can also click in the box. Input all the details of receipt. Click on the Submit button to send these details into the application. Here you see, the record is placed in the database. Click on Save Your Data button to save the Excel workbook. Data has been saved. Let's add here a few more records before using other features. Here you see, all records are visible in the database. After entering the data, if you figured out some mistake, then modify the record by double-clicking on it. For example, let me double-click on this record. After double-click, the details goes into the entry section, where you can modify the record. Here, let's change the courier company name. After modifying the record, click on Update Record button. Record has been updated. To delete a record, single click on the record to delete, then click on delete button. It will ask you to confirm the delete operation. Click on yes. Record deleted successfully. If you want to export the data to a new Excel sheet, click on this export all button. Here you see, 
data has been exported to a new Excel workbook. To export data for a specific date range, first, select the date range using the calendar. Let me select here the date from November 5th to November 6th. Click on this Export Selected button. Here you see, data has been exported for the selected date range only. After you make change in your database, never forget to click on this Save Your Data button. So, that was all about the operating guideline for this mini application to track the details of courier or mail receipt. If this application is useful for your work or business, download the application for free from the link displayed in the screen, or you can also visit video description section below. Thank you so much for watching. Stay connected by subscribing this channel for similar videos in future.